Now, if I fall back, <laughs> don't tell me just my leg down. What is the Feast of Tabernacles? All right, the Feast of Tabernacles, when you read Leviticus 23, is the feast the Most High gave us in the wilderness, where we dwelt in booths for seven days. Okay, it is also the same feast that all the prophets, all the apostles, including Christ, kept. great um, and what I mean when I say that is great because every year uh, poses uh, more of a challenge it gets bigger and bigger every year the Feast of Tabernacles or the Feast of Booths it is a time period for us to be as we were uh, going coming out of Egypt and going into the into our homeland and it is also dealing with how we are to operate as a nation we had to learn how to operate as a nation while we were in the wilderness Hey, shalom, Israel, Most High Christ bless you. 2023, the 20th anniversary, IUIC Tabernacles. That's right. And we're doing it right here in Oklahoma. What's up, Pete? Bishop, what? it's the biggest one ever. It's what? The biggest one ever. You heard that. Watch me now. Oh. It ain't never been done, man. We ain't here packed out. We done did it bigger and better than we ever done it. And guess what? There's more coming. All praise to the Most High God. No. You know, between um, Oklahoma and in the years past, Atlanta, they always had real big ones, both these two. I enjoy both places. It's good. You know, we haven't done it here in a minute, and we had a big turnout this year, and it was good. It's good. Good feeling, man. Get to spend, you know, a week with the family. Um, I, I, I enjoy it. Hey. Yeah. Trash. Give me that trash. Yeah. Give me that trash. Yeah. yeah. That big old bag. That big old bag. That big old bag. That big old bag. Who got the trash? 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 Now, as you watch Captain Yadon sprinkling on the planks, what is going through your mind right now? All praise to the most high leadership about to have a very good and healthy meal eating omega 3 in their salmons. Hey, let me, let me say this too. What's so heavy about this? Every time we do a, ma a mass gathering and we add the salmon, I mean, we add more helpers. We got these brothers, this brother, we got this captain right here, officer, off, uh, soldier, officer, I mean, captain. We, these men are certified to make the salmon, all right? So every time we come together on Tabernacle, we certify more men. Shout out to the kitchen that made this fried fish. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> I know I'm having a real fat moment right now when you fix your face. This fish about brought me to tears. Fingers out the Bible. Fingers out the Bible. Ooh, where am I going? Where am I going? Ooh, here we go. Revelations 18 and 4. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I ain't read this fall to the back. Y'all good, y'all good. All to the back. No, the judge is going to tell you if you ain't get it. Malachi 1 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hold on, hold on. Um, to inspire. You know, we're really not competitive. You know, we have, even though, you know, so-called Negroes, we do have a competitive nature. And that's okay, as long as it's done in righteousness and there's no emulation or strife that comes with it. But it was it's done to inspire the other camps, whoever might come in second, third, fourth, or fifth uh, place to, um, to greatness, you know, to step up their game. You know, so uh, all throughout Israel, United in Christ, we should be, um, it should be a, a, a status quo slash incline bell curve because we all have room for improvement so we should never be um be satisfied with being mediocre okay we're in the wilderness i i, I just need one big brother in front one big brother in the back <laughs> they're just skinny the bobcat will ignore me and those one of these big guys <laughs> Hey, 
And I'm only wearing this thing because they said ticks fall out the tree. This is the first time it's warm this week in Oklahoma. Every other day, every day it's been freezing. At least 35 below. You fried in the fire, bitch. Fried in the fire? Fried, fried in the fire. Mm-mm. It's the main reason we're going to show up next year. The main reason. <laughs> Our 20th anniversary means that um, that we are at the... We are always evolving. Uh, as a matter of fact, and way back, we weren't even keeping the Feast of Tabernacles as what's described in the Bible. So we actually had to learn uh, go, go in, going into the scriptures and literally found out that we're supposed to actually dwell in booths. We're supposed to actually deal in the wilderness uh, atmosphere, so to speak. Uh, so us learning that and doing it for the first time for many years ago within IUIC, every year we're learning more and more about that, uh, um, bringing it to the level of what the scriptures say when we read in the book, I think it was Nehemiah that he that he uh spoke about it so we are to keep it according to that listen here hold on DJ. i need y'all to keep what school is this right here jackson jackson, jackson. Yeah, yeah. Austin. 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 austin rochester what school is this right here okay oh, oh, oh. now watch this listen listen we gotta pay attention okay judges i want y'all to see whose thumbs go up first Cause we gotta, that's how we gonna tell first, second, and third. Cause this is it. You know what? Let's do it like this. See how cold, how cold I'm gonna close the book on this one. <laughs> Let me get Deuteronomy 2860. <laughs> Oh, no, they got it. 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 got it. First down, five and three. He get him out of there. He said what? Get him Wrong scripture. Yes, Wrong scripture. Let's go. Get let's go. Here. Get him out. Are we on the last three? All right, let's go. I'm closing the book. We ready? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Hey, man, calm down, man. Right. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Give me Hebrews 13 and 4. Hey, brother, one more time. Two. two hey, bro, what about three. Hebrews 13 and 4. Let's go. Hold on, because I was watching. I was watching. It's the final three. So, hold on, hold on. First place, Austin. Third place, Jack. There you go, Shalom, Israel, Mosai, and Christ. Bless. We are here in the Okie Doke, Oklahoma, celebrating Feast of Tabernacles, man. For those of you all that didn't make it out here, man, shame on you all, man. We having a good time. Okay, right now I'm out here at Black Wall Street. Okay, looking to see what the brothers and sisters out here selling. Okay, but brothers and sisters that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you all have a happy feast of tabernacles, all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> No, this guy, man. Okay. Yeah, you want some, don't Let me get some of that truck yet, man. I'll be able to get some of that truck. You know, I remember the bishop years ago, you know, when we just started celebrating tabernacles, you know, bishop read in the book of the law, and he said, listen, we supposed to be doing this. We supposed to dwell in boats. Okay, so what you all see taking place today, all over the earth, it started with the, the Most High God putting the Spirit on the bishop to say, listen, the same thing how, with Nehemiah and Ezra and them, how they saw, listen, they read the book of the law and they like, yo, we're supposed to be dwelling in boots. It's the same thing the bishop did in these last days. Okay, he read the scriptures and he said, listen, brothers, we're supposed to be dwelling in boots. Okay, Feast of Tabernacles, 
we're supposed to go out and dwell in boots and so forth. That's the fruit. Look at this shit. Nigga. Whoa, did you get that, Jeremiah? Hey, you gotta come this way. Okay, you know where we at. Nigga! Nigga! Now we're gonna go back where we come from. Yeah, we gotta go back. Why can't we go that way? Why can't we go this way? Well, we gotta go that way. You need a machete? What that sign say? Hey, wait, go, go, what that sign say? That sign say that you go by your damn self. <laughs> <laughs> Big Red, all you doing is eat, man. Easy out, Big Red. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, every time, every time I see Big Red, he gotta play in his hand. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know what happened, man. Yeah, man, then he's big red than somebody else. I see uh, uh, every time I turn around, I see played in there. Him, who's that? Deacon Abiel. <laughs> <laughs> Shalom, Israel. Most high in Christ bless you. This should be all stuff here. We're at the Feast of Tabernacles in Oklahoma. Deacon Abiel uh, did us the courtesy of taking us to a trail and let us experience what it's like to actually walk a trail. We normally do this during our tabernacles season. But on this particular one, I wanted to reflect on something that has happened to one of our brothers. As we were walking this trail, we found the word nigger on the, uh, on the coast, on one of the rocks. So that made me think when, when Rasheem Carter was being chased, and a lot of us, including myself, was a little out of breath. But could you, and I'm walking with my brothers. I'm not in any danger or anything like that. And I'm tired. Could you imagine how our brother Rasheen Carter felt being chased by a mob of murderers, chasing, running, with no protection in sight, no refuge, nothing like that at all. Running, trying to save his life, save his own life. They already knew all of the parameters, deer cameras and all of that. They knew what he was in, but he himself didn't know. And he running for his life. I just thought about that as I'm walking and I'm just thinking about it. Imagine being alone. Like I said, I got my brothers with me. He didn't have the brothers. He didn't have anybody to look after him. And he's running, running out of breath. Don't know whether he's running away from danger or running to more unknown danger. And that's what happened to my brother. Back in OKC, man, for the 2020, the 20th year anniversary of Tabernacle and IUIC. Man, this is amazing. Amazing. Any 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 complaints? Are we just keeping it in joyfulness and gladness of heart? Man, this, this is what it's all about. Being joyful, gladness, anything come up, hey. It's, it's, a, it's of the most high, so we don't deal with it, you know what I'm saying? It, act, it feels really good. It feels good to be in Oklahoma. I know for many years, yeah, we've had an ongoing feud between Atlanta and Oklahoma, but it was definitely a good feeling to be welcomed as warmly as we have been in Oklahoma for the 20th anniversary. It, it was, it's, it's really been good, really been good. Yes, sir, Captain. It's been a controversy around the word tabernacle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And look with the phrase tabernacle. Okay, so so there there is an originator or an inventor, and then there are those who take the patent or the copyright thereof. So I can tell you who originated it, okay? Because I was there when the origination of the word, or as they say, the etymology of the word, <laughs> tabernacle began in Atlanta by Captain Mattathias. Can we put a bomb in this video? Tabernacle was Deacon Abiel. He came up with that term. Okay, I'm recording.
And the winner is... <laughs> you ready? The, the creator of Tabernacle himself. You better skip it. Say that again. The creator of Tabernacle himself. That's what Google, Google said. Let's say it's Google. Okay. Check this out. What is your favorite Feast of Tabernacles event? My favorite event at Feast of Tabernacles. Since we in the okie doke right? It's going to be Black Wall Street. Ooh. 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 And that's the number two. Oh! Us being so far apart, being separated, um, that distance doesn't allow a lot of brothers to get a very good glimpse at reality when it comes to how we are as far as leadership goes the bishops the deacons the captains a lot of people have this um i don't know they, they they think that we're robotic you know they think that we don't let loose that we don't you know what i'm saying you know chill out and have a good time and it's good for brothers to be able to see that as well as come together and get understanding blow trumpets <laughs> Jesus Christ's name, asking that you hear our prayers and petition to you, Father. We come before thee with a humble heart, a contrite spirit, Father, acknowledging that you are the true and the only power of your son, Yahweh Shai, the Savior of Israel. Father, we accept mercy upon us, Father. On this gathering, we come together in one mind, one spirit, to acknowledge you are the true and the only power of the earth, Father. On these feast days, Father, we in one mind, spirit, want to serve thee with our whole heart. Ask you for forgiveness and mercy, Father, for our transgressions. Father, thank you for the abundance of mercy you've shown unto us, Father. Forgive us opportunity of repentance through the blood of our Son, Jesus Christ. We ask our Heavenly Father that you hear this prayer and petition. We are thy children, thy only begotten. Of all nations you've chosen us, Father, above all. And we ask for forgiveness. We have sinned against you, Father. We have broken our laws. But we've come to repentance. Ask him, Father, for the mercy that you promised us to our fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Father. Ask him for the mercy you promised to that first people, Father, the one that you've chosen. Ask him for that mercy, Father, for all of transgressions. And Father, in our prayers, you said if we bethink ourselves in the land of our enemies, of those that took us captives, Father, that you would hear our prayers and petition. We ask that you put our enemies underfoot, Father, that all the devices might come to naught, that all their conspiring might fail to be false, Father. We ask, Father, that you strengthen us in thy word, in application, that we might be found as faithful servants. Strengthen the womb of the women that are going to bring birth of thy seed, of our seed, Father, the righteous seed. We ask that you strengthen the men, that they might do mighty works and travel this earth to spread the gospel of our Lord and Savior. Father, we ask for vengeance, because we know through you are all, and by you all things are possible, and by thy Son we are redeemed. So we ask, Father, that you hear our prayers, Father. Bless the food and drink, the wine, the fellowship, Father, the music, and everything we do, we do to thee and thy Son, Jesus Christ, honor. Hallelujah! 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 Your name greatly to be praised. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.
Come on, man. You can not be us. Hey, man, we tabernacle. I'm sorry, Christ bless. It's beautiful. Beautiful presentation. Beautiful presentation. Yes, right beautiful here. presentation. Uh, Israel, most of God bless you. You know, Deacon Malachi is going to take you right back to Atlanta. For, right. for, uh, our future tabernacle. That's right. That's right. I'm going to do that too. Yeah, it's all good. That's right. How important is the late night circles? The late night circles are very important. And that, that's what brings me joy when we come here. I'll give you an example of why. When you go to Ecclesiasticus 6, uh, and I'll start at verse 33. I'll start at 32. My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent, meaning wise. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. Verse 34 says, stand in the multitude of the elders. The late night circle is where you see all the elders, the leadership there. Stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise. Be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. That's when young men ask questions, all kinds of questions, from marriage questions to etiquette, how to conduct yourself. Because um, the Bible covers a, a whole litany of things. It's just not the white man, it's the devil. When I was coming up, my elders used to always say, listen, because every time we went up to teach, we said, white man's the devil, white man's the devil. He said, you see all them black people out there and Latinos? We go, yeah. He says, a lot of them come back all the time, right? I said, yeah. He said, look how thick the Bible is. There's a lot of other lessons in it that our people need to learn, need to apply. So that always stuck in my head. So at the late night circle, we deal with more. We don't just talk about the white man's the devil. We talk about marriage, how to conduct yourself, how to uh, guide your wife and children. We talk about family, how to fix broken marriages, fix broken brothers and sisters, etiquette. You know, how to present yourself when, you, when you're before um, presidents, prime ministers, which is what, is what we've done in IUIC. How to talk, how to speak, you know, how to sit even, how to sit down, how to dress, what to wear, what not to wear in lead, as a leader. We cover a lot of things. Any words of encouragement? Um, be around your people, man. Be around your people. These, these high holy days, they... <laughs> allow you to be around leadership around your brothers and your sisters and we see things you know we learn things and we all fix each other so be around your people if I had to say anything all right Ten years of this relationship okay. and you still ain't jumped on my script but you're always trying to be and you're giving me too much then. So be quiet and listen to me And if you're quiet, yeah, we'll be stress free yeah. To ten years Celebrity sport! Who are you? Who are you? I got no grandpas In the midst of submitting In the midst of submitting in the midst of submitting to you. In the midst of still submitting. No, just take out still. In the midst of submitting to you. Submitting to you. We're going to take out still. Oh, it's not submitting. Submitting to you. Because she said it's been 10 years. Oh, it's been past tense. Yeah. We're going to find. Play it. What y'all seen this? Nobody seen none of this? I like to see you. Yeah, that's That's how we. Every song has started. You started the concept when we just vibed on it. But he did have something. Yeah, he had it was more about family. It's 12 o'clock. We don't die back in Jerusalem. Mm. Damn. Back home. Now I wanna I wanna rearrange what I was saying. Like what? You know? Like a different concept? No, it's the same concept, but just on a more wider scale. Help me out. Meaning, it's, it's about the 12 tribes. You know? Like, the way I was saying it, it made it sound like it's more relative to individual. You know what I mean? But if we go on that route, it's the same thing, but we gotta expand. I like, I like coming back home. I, I saw, you know how 
you come home for like a family supper or you know gathering a special event you got feast days and stuff like that in the world it was always the weekend holidays or a sunday dinner or something but coming back home 12 tribes coming back to jerusalem you're coming back home with all of us yeah, we all the lord's son is coming back home you know your son's finally returned yeah. coming back home yeah. Right. Yeah. Just <laughs> the but coming back home we're gonna feast so how, how, how finding our way back home if you could sum that up in one word, homecoming. Oh, dear. You okay? You okay? You know what I'm saying? This guy now he likes. Hey, you just saw he was beating up on me. He was beating up on me. I went to bed. I fell asleep. You like him? Now he likes you. The music. And I've told people this before. Us going to teach, and then the videos going out. We reach the world now with the gospel. But the music um, is as impactful, and in some cases even more impactful with the younger generation, because our music, it being righteous music, is also sealing instruction in their head through melody. And uh, you know, a, a young child coming up might watch a class, but he will listen to the same song over and over again. And that way, on a subconscious level, he's being instructed in the laws of God. So. I think original royalty music from what it started with to what it's now, the, the quality of music, the production, the artists, you know, um, it's top tier. You know, if you out there, if you listen to music in the world, I'm talking about like secular music, music that's, what's it called again, when they, look, when they want the murder music, whatever, uh, drill music, uh, you can get that same concept, but you can get it righteously. You know, this, this, I'm, in other, I'm, what I mean by that, like the same type of tone, but it, the, the instruction is good music. It's good for your soul. So original royalty music is, is on fire right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like You're the one raising a bar, bar. Pull up on the maters on a block, made a top drop in your spaceship, not a car. Hey, everybody know you star. You're the one raising a bar, hey, yeah. Pull up on the maters on a block, made a top drop in your spaceship, not a car. Work. I know the enemies trying to do you hurt. Do you hurt? Can't sleep in a time when you're frozen. Your friend be plotting. Now you gotta stay alert. Stay alert. It's a plea to find a way back home. So he's, you're singing from a place of because of our sins, we ended up in this captivity. We ended up here. And now we're trying to find a way back home. All of us were dispersed throughout the earth. And we're hurting. It's a plea. We're hurting. And we want to go back home. We're crying to the Lord. Y'all see it? Yes, sir. yes, sir. I'm trying to translate it, though. I see it. Like, but in words, right? But it has to capture those ears of like for example we don't say that's cool or uh, that's fresh you know they say lit or whatever you know different terms what is a way like sweat or kind of what do y'all say now oh you sleep what do y'all say now <laughs> what do y'all say now that's cool it's cool okay it's okay whatever but there's terms like there's something that the way that you can say that to where say what? I can feel it. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. That plead and that cry, you know what I'm saying? Like every time I hear the word, have mercy on me, oh Lord, when, you know, David's writing stuff, I feel that, you know, I can feel that. But what's the way of pleading that everybody can relate to? I'm trying to find their way home. Like, is it, oh God, or is it, I feel like that one term will set it off. You realize this is not just you know, speaking to somebody and they past, you know, any form of help he could give them. Oh, he literally makes music. I'm fixing myself. That's right. I'm getting right. Okay. He's heading out here. I'm in danger. Hey, 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 hey,
Man, imagine we think about that when we have a handful. People will not believe us, but now your guys that come after, you'll see what God is building. Guess what? Now we have music you can listen for like the whole day. At one time, all we had was a handful of stars, but God sent these, these souls to us to see that we need, we need that music. We need brothers. We need sisters with the uh, classic music. Good music, man. That's good for your soul, man. When I look at original warranty, I see, I see us going to a big uh, uh, company. You understand? And they're able to help brothers. You know what I mean? They're, 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 right now, brothers are doing it out of, out of heart, out of love. But we want to be able to provide for brothers as well, man. First time. First time in OKC. What you, think? What, you, what, what you think about all of the traffic and everybody out here? Oh, it's beautiful. It's I think I think OKC. I thought of tornadoes, but I'm looking at something different. I'm looking at trees and beautiful lake. It's, it's all worth, the Jews out here. It's worth, it's, it's worth the relocation, ain't it? It is. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> all praise, all praise. Happy all praise. feast, tabernacle. Yes, yes, peace, Lord. Give us just a little preview of what's about to go down. Listen, what you're gonna see tonight is one, the cult of PSR is gonna be taken. It's gonna be exposed tonight. I got, we got many of eyewitness testimonies, people saying why they left PSR. You know, we, it's gonna be brought out, all that's gonna be brought out tonight. All the evidence is gonna be made known and the people are gonna judge. So, that's all I got, man, you going down. Y'all yeah, gotta let these people's families go, you know? It has to stop. Go ahead, ask, ask me anything. Officer oh, Laha. yes, yes. Samson, Which PSR up? member is most likely right. to use Coco Fresh right. products? Man, they all look real glossy. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to go with Carmela. Oh, snap! Yeah, Carmela. Yeah. Ooh. That's Ooh. actually a good answer. Ooh, it is. Too bad it's not on the board. Oh, that's right. Bishop, Bishop, Bishop live in Atlanta. Hey, of course, people are gonna be on the radio, right, so Bishop right. live there. Y'all pro on. That's it, bro. No, no, no. Which PSR member is most likely to use Coco Fresh products? Oh, snap. Ooh. Oh, look at him. 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 Look we ready. Let's do it. All right. First question. Cringiest moment on PSR. Fix your face. Oh, yeah. Thank you for this one. Uh-oh. The cringiest moment mm -hmm. on PSR. Full cringe. <laughs> when our lovely captains was asked the question about marriage. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said, oh. Oh, my God. Now, how do you feel about it being the 20th anniversary in Oklahoma? Uh, that's my first time in Oklahoma. Uh, it was good. It was good. We got more people than I thought, which is Opus Sumosai. Uh, it doesn't, to, to me, it doesn't matter where we had it. I mean, yes, because it's, a, because it's 20 anniversary, it's a little more special, but every year we do it, we do always uh, come together. But uh, it's, 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 it's special this year because of the 20th anniversary that um, we have a lot, a lot, a lot of people. And it's not even all of us that's here. So, Opus Sumosai was able to come together, enjoy each other's company, be a family. Uh, I am extremely honored that uh, the bishops, the deacons, everybody agreed to uh, host the 20th anniversary here. So you got my 20th, 20th anniversary shirt. Um, 20 years of IUIC uh, being an organization, man, it, it was an honor for this to come here and for us to make this commemoration here because, you know, we've been through a whole lot. And over these years, which I didn't start at the beginning of 2003, I came, what, three years later in 2006. But in the time that I've been here, we've been through so much, man, and uh, we've grown so much. So being able to see where this thing has come and, and, and where we at now and what we was doing years in the past for Tabernacles 
and, and reflecting on where we at now, and it, it's very heavy. So I was I was completely honored that the bishops and them they wanted to do it here in Okie Doke. And you know how we do in Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? We tabernack, so we going we definitely did it to the utmost of our ability here. These were quality answers. They might have asked IUIC uh, Botswana. I think they asked IUIC Antarctica. I don't know where they get these answers. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. What is your favorite fix your face skit? Oh. Whoa. That was so aggressive with a woman. Jimmy is dead. Damn. Jimmy is dead, y'all. What's up? Where the hell is security at? What you got, y'all? What's up? No, I can't read it again one more time, sir. Answer the question. 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 The tribe of Benji, y'all got on. this. You, you should got, you got this, What is Captain Barnabas' most popular things to say on the regular? Read it again. Come on, it's a four zero. 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 Come on, it's a four Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> it was hilarious. Uh, it was good that, you know, they played nice, but there was some more harder hitting questions they could have asked that I, I was waiting for so I could laugh, but it was good. You know, both those shows uh, have a, um, a broad audience. A lot of people really tune to both those shows. So to see people come out, you know, for me, you know, I cheered for Patient Saints when I was talking to Patient Saints. When I was talking to Fix Your Face, I, was, I would talk to them. Because, I, you know, I'm going to play both sides. But I just want to see them go at it so I can laugh. That's all I wanted. It's Fix Your Face! Let's put our attention to the screen. Wait, wait, let's put our attention to the screen. Oh no, hold on. Let's put our attention to the screen. <laughs> Man down. Man down. Wow. Oh no. Really? Yes. Wow. Y'all see how they do it? Listen, listen. They the race. Now, what y'all have witnessed. Oh. <laughs> what y'all just witnessed was a massacre. Wait. Now, watch this, though. Um. I think it was a great idea. We finally got to, you know, set thing, things straight with PSR. Um, Fix Your Face, man, we've always had love for Patient Sage Radio. It's never been a competition, you know what I'm saying? It's never been that, that spirit of, you know, uh, emulation or, you know, variance. And for some reason, our brothers over there at PSR, man, they just got this vendetta against us, you know. And uh, I, I'm just glad we got to settle the score once and for all and, put them in their place so now that they'll humbly, you know, know what Fix Your Face is and what we're about and that we don't play around and, you know, it is what it is. But to be honest with you, that, that stuff was hilarious.
you know. I know everybody was, was thinking it was going to be, you know, certain questions and it was going to be an actual competition, but it's really about family, you know. PSR and Fix Your Face, we just on two different days. It's all IUIC, you know what I'm saying? So we definitely try to keep everybody in tuned with current events, what's going on, as well as taking a, um, you know, a little comic relief with serious issues that, you know, need to be dealt with, you know what I'm saying? So we definitely got all different aspects of, of uh, IUIC popping on, on uh, IUIC TV. Psalm 55, verse 17. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. Psalms 149. Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them sing, let the praises of his name be in the, let them praise his name in the dance, and let them sing praises unto him with the tremble and heart. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written this honor have all his saints praise ye the Lord Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Hey, sir. I get a picture of you holding your Bible. You gonna get this? No, no, no. It's gonna be. It's gonna be the um. Chest up. Yeah, chest up. Yes, sir. Heavenly Father, we come aboard thee in thy son's name, Father. Thank you, Father, for all things. Father, we thank you, Father, for bringing us together, Father, to celebrate your feast day, feast of tabernacles, Father. Father, in thy son's name, we come before you, ask you, Father. Bless us, Father, with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, Father. Bless us with a spirit to serve thee and keep thy commandments and faith in thy son. Father, in thy son's name, we come before you, we ask you, watch over all those that are observing your feast day, Father. Whether it be cold, whether it be sunny, whether it's windy, whether there's no wind, Father, we ask you bless them abundantly. Put everyone in the spirit, Father, and give them the joy of thy salvation to keep thy commandments and faith of thy son. And thy son's name would come before you, Father, asking you that you rise us up before our enemies, Father, before all those that hate us, Father. Guide us, Father, in your righteousness, Father. Bring down all those that come against thy truth, Father. In thy son's name, Father, we ask you also, Father, that you continue to bless this congregation, Father. Take us to places, Father, that all the naysayers said we couldn't go, Father. In your saying, in your son's name, Father, we glorify thee and thank thee, Father, in all things. In thy son's name, Father, we pray. Amen. Ezekiel 36 and 5. 
Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land into their possession. So With God gives you the name of the people that took the land, Idumia. Remember, you had the Arabs there prior to them. I'm going to say it again. The Arabs were there prior to them. The Arabs came in, at, write this down. The Arabs came in after the Ottoman Turks had taken the land during the time of the Middle Ages. M Ottoman Turks took it during the Middle Ages. Arabs then came in. And then Idumia came in with Britain. The least of the flock is also backed up in Ezekiel 36 and 5. I know we read it earlier, but the same word is there. It says, surely, thus saith the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia. So it's again, the residue meaning the small, the residue is not the whole thing. It's the leftovers. It's the small part. So it goes in what, what the bishop just brought out. The smallest among them shall draw them out. That's what he's talking about. Mine was a guide to a coffin, uh, cause Chris is in his sight on his path, yeah, endurance is a plight, so I stand for this fight, uh, yeah, let me go and say it twice, willing to die about mine, so I'm following Christ, uh, so we rolling through the four corners, looking for the Lord's truth and bring it back to the understanding to all of the ones broken, yeah, eat them, gon' pay for all of the ones, stolen missiles loaded, yeah, we've been in the nation of the teeth, bombs dropping, all the heathen sleep, from bombs for bloody garments, what you'll see when it's black boots and smash the yeah, we apply pressure. Yeah, they give a damn about the world. All the diamonds and pearls up in heaven is where I be laying treasure. Yeah, we on the front line. Yeah, we on the front line. Who strapped up when it's wartime? Uh, so if you scared, wear a skirt, ground shake when them boots hit the dirt. You want all in? That I'm all in. You can tell by my faith that I'm all in. Front line with the truth, I'ma fall in. Even if it's a dead end, going all in. You can tell by the thing. And you run that back, run that back, run that back. that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. The washing of water by the word, God wants his word to wash our minds. That's brainwashing. Society brainwashes us with evil, sex, sin, drugs, hatred, murder. They have, been, they have brainwashed us. Now we're cleaning our minds with the word of God, with the Bible. So that's why original royalty is very, very important. All right? Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Come learn. Come listen. Have a good time. Bring your family if you can. Okay. Uh, set up the brothers. Come out and help us set up tents. Uh, enjoy this nature. Cause black people, we always in uh, 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 in the uh, suburbs or the ghetto. We don't really go hiking. We really don't do the nature thing. But Feast of Tabernacles. We can unwind, we can relax, we get the beautiful river. Sights is wonderful. It's something that can really relax our spirits, our souls, our minds. <laughs>